Today's lesson is how energy flows through an ecosystem. If you recall a couple of days ago, we went through this very lab, the water bucket lab, where we strung out uh, several buckets with smaller containers and we walked from one end to the other carrying cups filled with water with holes in them as it kind of drained out. What this was supposed to do is try to mimic or try to allow you to, to understand how energy flows through an ecosystem. So this is what we did and we collected data. We collected data on the first bucket and then the last bucket. So we could see how much energy or water uh, was collected in the first bucket versus the last. So we measured the efficiency of this, this ecosystem. Well, what we did do is once we collect the data, now we got to put it somewhere. So in your Google Classroom, what you should have is this document. It's called Sample Trophic Level Efficiency Lab. And I gave you a sample look at one, one that we did about, I don't know, two or three years ago. And this is what that generated. Notice in trial number one, let's say you were a two link uh, team uh, that you have basically two buckets in between your starting and ending point. This is what this team did. That line right there, that was your particular team. I want you to gather from the other teams as well. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and transfer your data to whatever team you were on and then get the other teams to share with you as well. If you take a look at the bottom of this, there are four questions uh, for you to answer in addition to filling this out. Once you fill this out then, what you're going to do next is you're going to create your own graph. You've done this before, so it shouldn't be too difficult. The, the bottom line on this is you just copy these, go ahead and copy it, and then transfer over to here and just paste it. Then it'll alleviate a lot of your problems. Once you create the graph though, you're going to do uh, actually in uh, question number three, you're going to drop your graph in question number three. And from there, you can uh, answer ener energy types of questions. We're gonna look at the transfers, efficiencies, and that sort of thing. So I hope this explanation has helped you. Uh, I'll see you in the lab, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.